When you begin meat judging, you need to understand the three primary concepts to look at when you're evaluating any class. And those three objects that you're going to look at, first of all, is going to be muscling, trimness, and then quality. Those are the three primary components that you will evaluate in any class. You will put a different focus on maybe quality versus muscling and trimness in some classes. In other classes, quality will be less important. When we talk about muscling, we're talking about the expression of muscle that you see in a particular cut as well as the size of the different faces that you're going to look at, such as in this loin class, you have the loin eye that you see over here and you'd look at the area of that one particular muscle to give you an indication of the muscularity of that particular cut, along with looking at shape and other predominant influences and things that you look at within each individual cut. All cuts are a little bit different as to what you're going to look at, but you always start off looking at the faces and then looking at shape when you're trying to evaluate muscling. The next factor is trimness that you'll consider. And in trimness, you want to, again, look at the amount of fat that are over the faces. For example, the amount of fat that's over this particular loin eye. That's one place to evaluate that fatness for this particular loin. And that is what I call a window. It's a window into, uh, gives you a pretty good estimate of what you see as far as fatness in the rest of the cuts. And this particular cut has two faces. It has the eye end over here, and it has the sirloin face on the other side. And you're going to look at both of those to get an idea of fatness. In addition to that, you'll look at fat buildup over the entire cut, or carcass, or even retail cut as you look at that. Also, you look at something called seam fat, which is fat seam between the muscles. And that will give you an estimate of the trimness of that particular cut. The third factor that we're going to look at is quality. And in some cuts, that's extremely important. For example, beef carcasses, beef loins, beef ribs, and beef wholesale short loins. In all of those cuts, it's extremely important to look at quality first and then evaluate muscling and trimness. When we talk about quality in any cuts, there's really three primary things that we're going to look at. We're going to look at color. We're going to look at firmness of the lean. And then finally, we're going to look at marbling. And maybe different order depending on different cuts. We want to evaluate in the faces that are presented to us, such as the, this uh, loin eye that we see in this loin. What is the color? Is it a bright cherry red color? Is the surface of that muscle firm? And how much marbling or specks of fat inside the muscle is there that we can evaluate the overall quality of that product? And that is an estimate of eating quality. As we break down these factors, muscling and trimness are an estimate of the cutability. Or, for example, from this loin, what percent of that loin is going to be cut into closely trimmed steaks and roasts, and maybe closely trimmed boneless steaks and roasts? It's an estimate of the cut ability, the cut ability of that to be steaks and roasts and not fat and bone. All right, then the other factor, of course, is quality. And quality grade is a very important in beef, and so you're going to see that quality, particularly when this eye is present, is going to be a very important consideration in the beef carcass, beef rib, beef loin, and beef short loin classes. Other classes, predominantly the beef round, the pork carcass, the ham, the loin, wholesale ham and loin, and the lamb carcasses are more of what we would call cutability classes, where muscling and trimness would be the primary consideration that you would think about with quality being more of a secondary consideration. 